The Biden administration is asking Mexico's president for help curbing the ongoing border crisis. In return, Mexico's president has a few requests of his own. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas met with Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador in Mexico City late last month to discuss migration management just before U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced a record number of migrant encounters of 302,000 at the southern border in December. The Biden administration wants Mexican officials to help control the U.S.-Mexico border from their side, secure their border with Guatemala, and stem the flow of fentanyl and other drugs pouring into the U.S. Since Blinken and Mayorkas met with Lopez Obrador, U.S. officials say Mexican efforts to slow migration at the U.S.-Mexico border have been successful, citing a drop in illegal border crossings in the new year. U.S. Customs and Border Protection processed 2,500 migrants on Monday, a sharp decline from the average 10,000 migrants per day in December. In exchange for helping to decongest the U.S. southern border, Lopez Obrador wants the U.S. to give $20 billion to Latin American and Caribbean countries. He also wants the U.S. to open dialogue with Cuba and suspend the blockade, remove all sanctions against Venezuela, and grant 10 million Hispanics in the U.S the right to remain and work in the country legally. Some of these requests will need congressional approval. Lopez Obrador said back in September, some of the money the United States was sending to Ukraine to help fund the war against Russia should instead be sent to Latin American and Caribbean countries. Lopez Obrador says providing funding for the poor countries will help to address some of the root causes of migration. Many migrants from Venezuela leave their home countries because of deteriorating economic and political conditions, PBS News reports. Four months ago, Lopez Obrador called for the U.S. to create a program to remove blockades and stop harassing independent and free countries and to develop an integrated plan for cooperation so the Venezuelans, Cubans, Nicaraguans and Ecuadorians, Guatemalans and Hondurans wouldn't be forced to immigrate. And this wasn't Lopez Obrador's first time to push legalizing migrants' presence in the U.S. One year ago, he pressed President Biden during a trip to Mexico City to regularize the migration situation of millions of his fellow Mexicans living and working in the U.S. The Statue of Liberty, he said, should never, ever become a void and empty symbol.